So for today, we're going to be looking at the second solstice videos. Don't worry, guys. The exotic videos are coming. Uh, Synthoseps is next. It is coming. It's probably going to be here maybe Sunday or Saturday, depending how fast I can get it out. But the exotic videos are coming. Don't worry about that. So if you guys do want to see more exotic videos, let me know which exotics you want to see. I will most likely have a playlist done by the end of this week so that way you guys can see which ones are already done. But yeah, if you guys want to see anything else in particular, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So again, if you don't want me to cry myself to sleep tonight, a subscription would fix that or commenting or liking really anything. But other than that, let's get into it. So this is the hunter. I really like how my hunter came out. I will be 100% honest with you. There is a few pieces that I think I could have done better, but overall, I really do like it. And these boots are really good. Obviously, we're using these solstice boots. So the helmet we're using is the virtuous helmet. This is really weird because I originally was going to use the Pathfinder's helmet because I really love this helmet. But that being said, because I really love it, I use it a lot in pretty much almost all my armor sets. If I'm going for a knightly royal, uh, like gucci looking fashion then most likely i will be using the pathfinder's helmet but i wanted to stay away from it just because again i use it so much and i wanted to use something else but if you do it technically does make sense for the helmet to be with the arms because obviously the arms that we're using is the oath keepers now these uh the reason i say it makes sense is because these are also awoken so an awoken helmet with an awoken arm just kind of makes sense in my head but it's funny because I was actually thinking about putting the ornament with it, the unyielding, which I think looks really cool. It's just that I think the problem is the chest piece. If the if the colors were inverted and the white was actually black and vice versa, I think it would have been much better because then at that point, there's not a lot of black or white. So I think that would have been better. That's probably why I'm not like using the ornament. But again, if you do find it black, like let's actually just see if we can do, do it real quick. Uh, no. And this is where, like, if the gold was black, then I think this would be really, really cool. So that's kind of where my head goes when it comes to stuff like this. I can't find anything, man. Like, real mm -mm, too much white. Uh, yeah, like something like this. If this actually looks pretty cool. <sighs> yeah, this actually does look really cool. I'm not going to change it because I think the... The Revelry white sand doesn't meld well with the Revelry black sand, which is what we're using for the shader. I really like this shader. Uh, for the boots, obviously we're using the Solstice boots. I really like these boots. My only gripe with it is I have two two things. First, it, this is actually not even one of the gripes. I think this is fine. It's not that big a deal. Uh, my gripe is the texture. I think the texture not changing is a big negative because it's gonna look weird in a lot of pieces like specifically uh where this one you're gonna see two textures for for these which might bug some people it doesn't bug me because those te two textures i can like in my head be like that's fine it makes sense i guess but more so when you combine it with armor pieces like this one right here then it's like it just kind of doesn't make sense in my head but at the same time it also that doesn't make sense the the fact that i feel that because at that point you'd be wearing a whole suit it, i don't know i think about this a lot as you guys can probably tell uh if i were to change it i'd probably just change the texture like just have it change with the shaders because certain shaders have actual textures on them if you guys didn't know that uh like for example i think uh crucible vermilion is one of them that has an actual texture to it yeah as you guys can see the plate has like a, a very like old look to it and then it doesn't so shaders do have textures i just wish that the texture on this actually changed and the other thing is i feel like it, sh it needed more armor up up top like right here but other than that yeah the boots are fire and for the cloak i was about to say bond and mark oh my god for the cloak we're using the vernal growth cloak this one is an old old ornament from the revelry i think yeah the revelry that's an event that happened like once and then it never came back i think they're selling this on eververse now actually we, we can we can go check because we're done with the armor now uh, i'm pretty sure they're selling this bitch up in here 
They're not. Wow. I thought they I thought they put it up. Or is it Nope. Damn, that's crazy. I th I really thought they were they were selling this. But yeah, unfortunately they're apparently not selling the Revelry uh the Vernal Growth cloak. I could have sworn they were. But yeah, I, the reason I'm using this cloak is because the gold trim does not change color, uh, which usually is a negative. But when when I have pieces like this that I have certain colors that meld well with it, then at that point I'm like, well, in this case, yes, it's good. But usually I don't like uh, non shader blow anything because it limits your stuff. Like as a perfect example is I can only wear this with certain golds. So hunters let me know what you guys think i really like this one and i wanted to use an exotic that i rarely ever use which is why i'm using the oath keepers but yeah next up is the titan as for the titans we have the virtuous helm again which i'm not gonna lie this one is one of my favorite helms in the game for the titans like legitimately uh just it's so cool for the arms you're using doomfang specifically because uh i guess i wanted purple and I'll show you the other look because I did do another look for the Titan, which I was like, I ended up asking one of my clanmates like which one she liked and she liked this one more. And I was like, yeah, I like that one more too. But I will show you the other one just to showcase it. Uh, for the chess piece, we're using the Devastation Complex. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I really should veto this chess piece from myself because I use it in so much, so many of my fashions. But to be fair, this is legitimately like peak Titan armor. like. When I think of a Titan, this is the chess piece I think of when I think of a Titan. So for me, it's definitely cheating. But at the same time, this chess piece is legitimately like beyond S plus. It's like galactic. It's so good. So the only thing I would probably tell you is the fact that if you want like more design on the chess piece, because it does look a little uh, flat compared to the boots, then you could definitely use the PVP one, the Phoenix Strife. My only gripe with it is that the uh the stomach is gold instead of black which does not meld well with the bottom of the boots and the fur does not go all the way down like the devastation complex as you guys can see right here that's like one of the reasons why i like this chest piece so uh for the boots we're using greaser roll which is i swear to god i never thought in, my, in a million years i would actually go out of my way to get this ornament uh at, or to get it as an ornament but man i have been using this so many on so many looks and I absolutely love it. Uh, the reason I'm particularly wearing this is because I really like how it's still it still like maintains that bulky look at the bottom, but it's not overbearing. Uh, for the mark, we're using the Solstice mo uh, mark because it's really good. I was thinking about using the chest piece, but dude, man, that chest piece is straight trash. Um, what? Oh, shit. Hold on. Uh, yeah, that, that chess piece is straight trash. I, I, I apologize whoever designed it. I know you're really proud of it because you tweeted it on, uh, on Twitter, but you, you should have made it shader better. Like that's really it because it shaders tr like trash. Like, look at this, look at this. Look, look how many of these shaders retain that Brown. It's ridiculous, bro. I hate it. I, <sighs> Honestly, that's like the biggest problem. And it's funny too, because the other look that I was trying to do was another red and black one, which I was using the, the shader from the first video. If you guys haven't seen the first video, by the way, I'll have it right now. It's the the first Solstice fashion sets. I really liked the, how the Titans came out. Granted, if you don't like red though, it is heavy on the red. So I was thinking about using this, this shader again, so that way I can get the all black. Then I was like, well, I already used red. I don't want to use it again on the Titan. It feels like a cop out. And I tried every shade, almost every shader, and I just could not make it work. So uh, that's why I'm not using the chest piece. I'm not I'm probably never going to use that chest piece. So yeah, Titans, let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm so sorry that you guys got really terrible armor sets that don't shader well. But yeah, next is the Warlock, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. And last but not least, we have the Warlocks with Astrocyte Verse. I love how this came out. So let's talk about it. Obviously, we're using Astro Astrocyte Verse for the helmet. I feel like the Astrocyte Verse goes well with the Elect of the Empty Robes. I love this robe. This robe is legitimately one of my favorite robes in the game for the Warlocks just because it looks so cool. Uh, the it's It's the combination of like you look regal as fuck, but also like 
like mysterious or not mysterious but like like i don't know it's hard to explain it looks really good in my in, in my eyes though like legitimately one of the best chess pieces in the game uh for the actual solstice piece we're using the arms because you could i was thinking about using the boots as well which don't get me wrong it looks really good as well it's just that i'm dumb and i don't like to wear more than two pieces of an armor set so like one piece is the the most i'll actually wear um what the fuck is that or am i just seeing things right there am i seeing that wrong or am i just seeing things no it looks like is that a glow like an outline of a glow i don't know whatever either way uh i think the arms are probably one of the coolest pieces from this whole set obviously the helmet is one too i did that for that one video again i'll have it in the screen right now but definitely one of my my favorite ones that i did for the boots we're using the nemean boots specifically because i just love that it looks it looks like it, it looks royal as fuck but it, it it doesn't over it's not overbearing it's just right so something that's kind of overbearing in my head is would be like this i think the stars and all that would be too much uh this is also too much i want I want to maintain the simplicity that is the elect of the empty because when i say simplicity i mean more so of the fact that it looks very thin it looks very there's not a lot of armor pieces if any in this aside from the shoulder pieces other than that there's almost no sh no armor pieces because this looks more like leather to me so i didn't want to have anything that had too much armor pieces at the bottom and again virtuous just it's too much in my opinion so definitely if you want to copy this uh Nemean boots are going to be really good i think the empyrean tar cartographer is a little too much but you could still make it work uh the i think oh the forbidden visage would have been really cool as well my only gripe with it is uh i don't like the color the color scheme for it i think this one's much better so if you can find uh some boots that have this kind of shadering in it I th that would be way better but yeah like this is also really good for the bond we're using the street scholar bond because i wanted to have a purple glow i wanted to have more of a blue purple but i couldn't find it to be fair i didn't look for it that much but in my head it makes sense because this purple is the same as this purple almost so i didn't i didn't search that hard for it i also didn't realize that i used a, a gold for pretty much all of the looks so that made me kind of laugh but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below warlocks did i do you guys justice let me know in the comments below so that's the end of the video if you guys like comment subscribe really does help because again uh i'm not gonna say the whole thing because i will usually say it in the beginning but again i very much appreciate it like subscription everything if you guys like the video obviously but now that the video is done i want to talk about a few things first and foremost we're gonna be doing uh the exotics again i will probably be i'm not gonna do a tutorial for the solstice because i really don't want to do one and this event just kind of uh blows wieners if i'm being quite honest so after this solstice video and then probably the glow review video i'm probably going to drop solstice and start doing my regular content which would be like destiny 2 fashion and stuff like that i will be doing some more stuff outside of fashion obviously like reviewing the weapons that i didn't do this season which i thought i did uh we're gonna be reviewing some of the some of the weapons and probably some other content as well not that de uh, definitely destiny 2 related i'm not doing anything non-destiny 2 related in this channel but I meant more so like maybe some challenge runs, like maybe some GM runs, stuff like that. Because uh, as much as I love fashion in this game, I also love to play the game. I play the game quite regularly. I've done almost all the dungeons solo flawless. Actually, I've done them all solo flawless. And I have all I have all the videos for it. Uh, so, yeah, I do a lot of stuff that's not just fashion in Destiny 2. And I want to showcase that. So it'd be very much appreciated if you guys watch that other content as well because man let me tell you the the non-destiny 2 content that i was posting up in this channel almost killed my channel <laughs> i'm not gonna lie oh man i like like to be i'm gonna be transparent with you guys i as much as i enjoy playing elden ring uh dying light 2 all of those games it was not well for my mental health because my channel dropped in views like to give you like that an example I, I would average like eight to ten thousand views a month my channel went down as low to like two thousand a month which i've never seen and it scared the shit out of me which is why i 
decided to not make Destiny, non Destiny 2 content in my channel anymore. I am making another channel for that, but yeah, it was a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. Thankfully, we're we're, we're looking better now. We're I think we're like 1,200 1200 views now, which is wild because I think that's the highest I've ever been. To be fair though, I have been fucking myself over with doing non Destiny 2 content. So now that we're doing more Destiny 2 content, we should be looking better. But if you guys do want to watch my other content, I will have my other channel. Uh, I still haven't, I have still haven't like configured it because I have to put all of the old Destiny or not Destiny 2. I have to put all of the old content that I had in this channel into the new channel. So that way I can have some videos up, but I'm also going to be returning to some of the old games that I stopped playing. So specifically like Elden Ring, I stopped playing because again, I was doing, I'm doing more Destiny 2 content. Uh, Cyberpunk, I might do a, a brand new playthrough just to see how the game is because I still haven't beat that game and I have it on my channel and that channel is going to be updated pretty regularly because I do play a lot of other games a lot. I don't play a lot of Destiny 2. Usually like if, the, if there's a new season, obviously I'll dump a lot of hours, but within like the third or fourth week, that's when I start waning and start kind of playing other stuff. So I do play Destiny 2, but I also play other other stuff. And once that channel is up, I would appreciate it if you guys would at least check it out. See if you guys enjoy my content there. I have a lot of stuff stuff planned this uh, this end of the year, next year, whatever. Uh, to really showcase it, I really will make a video explaining this in more depth. But just to showcase it, because again, I want to... The people who actually like my content, I want to make sure you guys know that I'm doing other stuff. First and foremost, uh, the Destiny 2 channel will be Fixed Tony. Uh, my let's play channel will be like fix Tony let's plays I guess and then I will probably do a 40k channel because I also do 40k like uh, miniatures and whatnot and then prop hopefully work on twitch or not well streaming that's another thing I do want to get back to streaming and we'll probably multi stream the only issue would be that I would have to stream on my Let's Play channel or make a new channel for let for uh, that alone because streaming on YouTube really fucks your analytics hard. So no, I'm not gonna do that on, on my main channel, but I might do it on my Let's Play channel because that one's gonna be more, more so for me, but we'll see. And then uh, hopefully work on my other social medias like Instagram and uh, TikTok maybe. I don't know, TikTok's pretty wild. And just, I don't know, maybe we'll see. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, I apologize that you guys probably weren't expecting this portion, but I really needed to say this and what better way to do it now because it it's better to do it now than try to make a video on it and never do it because that's what, you, what I usually do. So I might as well just do it here. So I apologize that this took forever. I'll probably have this as a, you know, channel update section and then this would be the outro just so that people if they're not interested they can skip it which is completely fine i don't really mind so be safe and i'll see you guys later